Hey guys, welcome back to my rambling, rambling repeat recap of Quantico Days. Your girl Pinky, you already know. Can we get into it? Because I'm super excited. Today I'm going to be doing episode 9. It's called Guilty. I mean, this episode has so much in it. But I already think the writer should have renamed it. Instead of naming it Guilty, they should have named it Friendship for a reason. Number one, if you go back, let's start from Agent Lane. That's how I like to call it, Agent Lane. If you go back to Agent Lane, like, oh, what it did to Ryan. Up to nine, I mean my stomach aches. Like, my heart and stomach aches. And you see Alex crying. I was so angry with Quantico writers, but I was loving it at the same time. I was like, yes, good TV show. Good, this is good for TV. But it gave my other heart aches for Red X. I was like, no, no, they can't do this to her. You know, I was really mad. I was really angry about it. Like, but I said, no, Pinky, calm your ass down. It's just a TV show. It's just a TV show. You know, they're not really doing that on him. He's fine. But again, I'm like, I was I was insulting that dude. Like, I was really insulting him. I was like, this motherfucker got me pissed off right now. Like, oh, sorry for my, you know, French, but I had to. So, you know, and then Elias, Hyper, is Alex lawyer? That was a big shocker. Like, I was shocked. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. I don't know if you guys did, but I didn't see that coming. Elias? Wow. And he was like, Alice called me before she, she got here. I was like, wow. Wow. You know, so Elias is representing Alex. Caleb is trying to clear Alex's name. Finally, Nadity is on Alex, Team Alex. I, I mean, I was blown away. Like, I, I was saying to myself, "What is going on? Am I in the? Am I in like a hollow land? Like, am I sleeping? Am I dreaming? I mean, am I dreaming about this thing? Cause it's surreal. It's not real." Nadity, I was like, I was really shocked. And then you have the twins, and you know my girl Nima, she was kicking ass as usual. I was like, yes. And Mr. Lynn, it took him a long time to actually recognize that Alex was innocent after everybody was Team Alex. I was like, best episode ever? Best episode ever? Like, I was super excited. But then things took a different turn if we go to Quantico Land, as always, you know. So, guys, in Quantico Land, I mean, I wasn't really pissed off with Alex, but then I was pissed, I was kind of pissed off that she was lying to uh, um, Ryan because the fact that she hit when Ryan keeps secret and lied to her, but yet she was doing just that so i really didn't understand it was kind of playing my mind and again yeah, i understand why she did it because she didn't want him to feel a little jealous so it was kind of both way it was kind of floppy but lee uh alex helping lean ew but again like i said i understand why she did it but i don't give a hoot because i don't really like lean like that so like Alex, why are you helping him? I mean, are you still feeling guilty about your dad? Come on, girl. Oh, Leanne. He just rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I swear, Chronicle Writers, if Leanne and Alex end up together, like I said before in my video, I'm going to be in a hospital just for the record. This is my second time saying it. Like, I'm definitely going to have a heart attack. Because I cannot deal with Lee and Alex's love. I can deal with Relax. That's all I know. For a second, I thought Alex and Simon was going to end up together. But I had to scratch that off my mind. Because that was like, ew, no. I think, you know what? All the 
all I mean, let's just jump to Simon right now. Although you know, Simon uh oh, uh, Nima is kind of playing hard to get. I think Simon and Nima make a cute couple because if you realize, like the whole time that everything that Simon was liking about Reina, that was actually Nima. So it was like, poor guy. He was like, okay, what the fuck? I I like the wrong girl. I like the wrong girl. But then again, you know, that's that's life, you know. You know what? I kind of feel sorry for Rena. I mean, I just... Like, when I was doing the, the team, the group work and stuff, and she felt all left out, I was like, oh, poor baby. But again, like I said, I am so teen Neymar right now. That girl is kicking ass. I am loving Nima like all the way, you know. And also, Shelby, Kayla, both of y'all freaks in the woods. Whew, Chronicle Writers, y'all know me, man. I live on Shelby and Kayla freakness. You know. But this episode, it was very interesting, you know. It's not a lot to say about it, because if I say a lot about it, I'm going to go all in depth and try to list everything that happened. And we're going to be sitting here for a very long time. I don't think you guys have that time or need it. You know, do I? You know, not to forget, can we talk about Simon? Simon, why didn't you let it go? Why didn't you let it go? Susan almost killed you. Ryan, thank you, baby boy, for rescuing Simon life. Life for real. And now you got everybody pissed at you. You should have let it go. I know your instinct is telling you stuff, but sometimes you just have to let it go. And I still don't trust you. That's all I got to say about that. Ryan and Alex, I hope you guys didn't break up because it's not time for you guys to break up. It's time for you guys to build your relationship and stop beating around the bush. Alex, can you just say where you guys are? I mean, like, does it take a rocket science to say you guys are lovers? Or you guys are fuck buddy? Ooh, I mean, you guys are cuddle buddy? Or you guys are like um, boyfriend, girlfriend. That's what the boy wants to hear. I mean, come on, Alex. You're killing this dude. He's dead because of you. Why are you doing this to him? Oh, my God, Alex. Also, Ryan, you should be a man to say what you guys are, too. Not just Alex. You know Alex like to be, um, beat around the bush. She don't really say her feelings. So basically, you have to kind of step in, not be angry, you know? Yeah. You know? But this episode, all the guys getting together and helping Alex and Ryan, I think it was just fantastic. And it was very sweet, you know, finally. For once, I feel really, I'm not really mad at everybody on the show in this episode you know besides alex i'm kind of mad at you girl but all in all it was a great episode i love it you know guilty guilty pleasure <laughs> i kind of like it oh yeah and melody finally opened up about her daughter oh my god i had tears in my eyes for natalie i mean usually i don't because she rubbed me the wrong way when she mean to alex but then I'm confused about Natalie. I'm just going to say that. You guys are confusing me about Natalie. Because one minute she's nice, one minute she's tough. But then again, I understand because of her daughter, that's why she, she's kind of confused to herself. I want to say so. She tried to play tough and just block that whole thing out of her. You know. But this is it, guys. This is all I got for today. I hope you have a nice Halloween. Um, Halloween. Did I just say Halloween? I hope you have a nice Valentine. And 
go and check out Tia Nema. I just opened a page for her, and y'all know how much I love her. And yes, Yasmin is following the page. And guys, as always, follow Team Alex Parrish on Twitter. Follow Team Alex Parrish on Instagram.